Hi there, this is Sara, your Product Enablement Manager here at Trust Cloud, and today I want to talk to you about controls. What are controls and how to start running them? So a control is a process that basically you are assessing in order to prevent any risks from happening to your environment and organization. Each control at Trust Cloud will have a description to help you understand what this does. And very important, it's also the evaluation frequency. You're going to be able to see what evaluation frequency has been assigned to this control. This can be changed if you prefer by going to the three dotted button at the top and uh, clicking on edit control. But what this means is this change management tooling control needs to be run every quarter. So scrolling down, Trust Cloud automatically uh, creates tests for the specific control based on your environment. In this case, we have two different types of tests, automated test and self-assessment test. The automated tests are associated with the integrations that you have set up in your program. So in this case, the automated test will run on its own on a quarterly basis. But in the case that the test is failing, like in this case, it will tell you that the test is failing, the evidence is missing, and there is something that needs to be fixed. So at the right side, we will give you the option to fix this test and to see what's wrong with it. So this page is gonna open up and it's gonna tell you exactly how to fix this test. What is this description of the evidence that's needed and the action required? alongside with what evidence was failed. So just take uh, the time to read this, understand what it's needed from your end in order to fix this test, and you can start implementing those changes to have this test pass. Moving down, we have self-assessment. These are the manual tests where you will have to uh, upload manual evidence and this will not run on their own um, unless you run it. In this case, this self-assessment is passing, the evidence is up to date, so there is really nothing for me to do. But if I wanted to check out uh, a little bit about the test details, I can click here and I can just see uh, what does this test do? Any uh, report information that I would like to know, learn about, test details, and you can even download the evidence tested if you'd like. In the case that this self-assessment test was actually failing, then right here you have a button that tells you assess and upload evidence. In that case, we will show you exactly what type of evidence is needed, how to fix it, and you know we'll give you the option to upload that evidence directly. When you find a self-assessment that needs your attention, so for example, this one right here where the test status has not been run, but you know that this is a, a test that it's required for your compliance posture, the evidence is missing. So what you wanna do is go ahead and assess and upload the evidence. When you click there, we're gonna tell you exactly what type of evidence is needed, and we're gonna give you different type of options to upload that evidence required. For this case, I'm gonna add evidence by dragging a file. Perfect. And then you can link this to uh, a, a specific file if you'd like, otherwise you can click next. You can add an evidence description and then add evidence. So once this is done, you're gonna see this pop up, you can close that, and this evidence will run and pass, as you can see. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.